Mike Tyson had an interview with Canadian TV, in fact it was channel CP24, and he was speaking to a reporter by the name of Nathan Downer. And Downer asked him a provocative question which definitely stirred the pot and got an angry response from Mike Tyson. So Nathan first asks him, there's a race for mayor, referring to uh, the whole Rob Ford situation, and by the way, Mike Tyson has been friendly with him. We know you're a convicted rapist, this could hurt his campaign. Now how do you respond to that? Can't wait. Mike Tyson <laughs> did not take too kindly to that, okay? And he was convicted of rape in the early 1990s. Um, he says, I don't know who said that, you're the only one I heard who said that. And then he said, it's so interesting because you come across as a nice guy, but you're really a piece of shit, fuck you. <laughs> I like how this went. Now look, I'm in favor of uh, people asking tough questions. Yeah. That's a tough question. That's okay. a super tough question. And you got to be pretty ballsy to ask Mike Tyson that question. Uh, you now, were on live TV, and Nathan Downer's like, we're on live TV right now. I was like, I don't give a shit. Yeah, you think Mike Tyson cares? <laughs> Have you met Mike Tyson? Okay, so I, I'm torn on this because, look, a lot of people think he got railroaded in that charge. Uh, I, I yeah, watched, I read about it a little bit. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I watched a documentary about it. and. It's, it's impossible to know, and the jury did convict him, but it, boy, that was a tough situation. Yes. Okay. So now that's going to haunt him forever. I mean, it already haunted him. Did it uh, put him in jail for all those years, the career, et cetera? Uh, and, and Tyson's done a lot of bad, you know, stupid things in his life. There's no question about that either. But I don't know that he, uh, every time he does anything, should be confronted with a question well, you're a convicted rapist, so. I think Given the context of that question, it was totally okay. Oh, that's a absolutely okay. one. So if he's on there to like promote, well, he was on there to promote his show. Mm -hmm. But you know, in the context of the question, it had to do with a politician who's running for re-election. Tyson somehow has you know aligned himself with him, and so the reporter wants to know, like, don't you think that this might actually hurt him rather than help him? Especially considering the fact that he's been in a lot of different controversial situations as of late. Yeah, let me be clear about this. Uh, I might not have asked that question yeah. or asked it in that way, but. You're right. I mean, I got no beef with him asking and asking anything he wants. A political context, they're in the middle of a mayoral race, it could be relevant. So now, Tyson, I know that it sucks for him, but he's got to keep his cool a little bit. That's what happened. And from time to time, people will ask you about it. Yep. That's life. Yeah. He did not keep his cool, which then made it more entertaining, to be honest. I guess what I'm more concerned about is this notion that public figures and these big celebrities get to go on all these different shows and do all this promotional work for whatever project it is that they're working on, and they never get to expect any hardball questions, right? They expect an easy time, a fun conversation, and it goes back to the whole issue of journalism and access and whether or not you're going to be able to get these big names on your show. You do these softball questions because you're going to have more access to them. And I like that in this case, a reporter is like, no, you are you know, endorsing a politician. That's going to hurt his, it could hurt his campaign given your past. I want to know what you think about it. That's a good question. Right. <laughs> it wasn't, I don't think uh, no, it was tactful the way he asked it, but right. I think that it's an interesting question. Yeah, no, I'm not judging about it. I'm, I'm amused though at the idea that anything could hurt Rob <laughs> Ford's campaign. I know. <laughs> like, he's like, oh, you know, you were hanging out with a convicted rapist. He's like, dude, I smoke crack on a regular basis. What difference does it make? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know who else I hang out with? <laughs> I know, we've seen the picture, Rob. Yeah. Uh, but then it got worse, right? It did get worse. Um, he, so Nathan Downer responds by saying, is it nerve wracking for you to do something like this, it, referring to the interview, or is it more nervous for you to box? And his response was, it's more nerve wracking for me to sit here talking to a rat piece of shit like you. <laughs> no, because you're a piece of shit. You really are. Fuck you, right? And so Nathan Downer ended the segment uh, abruptly after that, understandably so. <laughs> and um, he did go on Twitter to kind of apologize and, and make things a little better. Let me show you a few of his tweets. He said, no ill will toward Mike Tyson. He lashed out at me and that's okay, not taking it personally. I'm okay, everybody. Unfortunately, my question hurt Mike Tyson's feelings. That was not my intentions, my apologies for the language. So he's referring to Mike Tyson's language there. I wouldn't have even sent that second tweet. Yeah, the second tweet was superfluous. Yeah. But I'm pardoning everybody, okay? Yeah. I think it's perfectly fine questions, Anna's totally convinced me of that. I, I wouldn't, I'm sticking to, I wouldn't have asked it that way, but that's okay, he asked it that way, and there's nothing wrong with that. And Mike Tyson tells him he's a piece of shit, 
that's kind of fun. He's fun. he's allowed to say whatever he wants. He can he can ask Downer can ask whatever question he wants. Tyson can answer it in any way he likes. I pardon everybody. Here's what wouldn't have happened. Anyone talking about this interview had Nathan Downer not asked that question, mm -hmm. right? And had Mike Tyson given him like a cool, calm response to it. Well, frankly, I don't appreciate the tone of that question, but let me tell you why I support Rob Ford. <laughs> <laughs> Go get him, Mike. <laughs> exactly.